now probably over. The CEO of the Borsa Italiana speaking to me earlier. Luisa, I'll hand back to you. Now back to one of our top stories, and Greece is forecasting that it will be emerging from recession next year. How are the Greek companies, though, feeling at the moment? We're joined here in the studio by the boss of the number one mining company in Greece, Evangelos Mytilineos, the CEO of Mytilineos, joins us. Welcome, Evangelos. Good to, good to see you. Good to see you, Lisa. First of all, just tell us a little bit about your company, in case viewers aren't, aren't familiar with you. Uh, our company is the third generation uh, energy and mining company. It's uh, listed in the Athens Stock Exchange, has an annual turnover of about $2 billion. It's doing well. Yeah. So, so you operate in, in all fields from lead to zinc, aluminium, uh, mining, electricity generation yes, as well. Yes, uh, You look at defense engineering too. You, exactly. you, you, you do parts in that too. So, so it's pretty broad based. Quite diversified. Yeah. And, and how, first of all, has the Greek crisis impacted you? I mean, I'm assuming it's, it hasn't been good. The Greek crisis has created all sorts of difficulties, even for the best companies. Funding is scarce. The banking system, on which uh, we all have to work with, has been through very di dire straits, as you know. It has been very difficult years, and they still are, to be honest. Yeah. So what has your strategy been? How is the best way to kind of maneuver through uncertain waters, as, as Greek companies have to do at the moment? Well, long before the crisis, we had uh, tried, and I have to say, looking back with uh, relative success, to diversify abroad, mm -hmm. to um, redirect our sales abroad. So when the crisis struck, 80% of more of our sales were abroad. So that has been a life-saving thing to do, to be honest. Mm. Do you think that the economy is going to start recovering? I mean, we've heard these official forecasts saying there's going to be a bit of growth next year for the first time, maybe 0.6% growth or something like that. I mean, do you think the worst, I mean, obviously, I suppose the worst is over, but are we actually going to start moving to a bit of expansion or, or is it going to be sort of stagnation and still a lot of problems in your view? Mm. That's a very good question because the figures come out better, but the figures, they uh, reflect mostly the fiscal consolidation, which is very much underway and we have some good success over there. It reflects the narrowing of the, of the trade accounts, the current account, yes. But I have to say, the situation in the real economy is, is really very difficult. Very difficult. Is it still shrinking, basically, do you, do you think? Or, or do, you, do you think there's still some contraction there? It's still very hard for people who operate domestically. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. the, the economy has contracted by more than 25% in the last four or five years. I mean, the catastrophic kind of 1930s style depression you've gone through, basically, as a country. It's catastrophic. Tragically. I mean, for, for peacetime, it's, I think it's a, it's a record. Yeah. So you can realize that the local demand has been slashed. Uh, only companies that, then, that can sell abroad can maintain the employment and the activity, it's very difficult. Uh, do, yeah. do, do companies like yours, or, or do they now trust sufficiently the banking system, the domestic banking system, or do you still have, I mean, you know, how does it work? Are you able to keep a lot of liquidity inside the country, or do you, do you have to spread it around? What's happened? Well, the banks uh, were recapitalized in the first half of the year. In the, they are in a much better shape now. Uh, their funding possibilities, however, are still relatively limited. We expect this uh, funding to increase, as well as, of course, we expect interest rates to finally start coming down a bit, because they're so high yet. How, how do you view the, the mining and the metal sector at the moment, and, and, and where is most of your business done? I'm in London for on the, on the uh, occasion of the London Metal Exchange Week. Uh, once a year we all come here on the metals and mining business, and uh, I've already heard a lot of opinions. It's tough times for mining and metals. It's tough times. I think we'll probably need another year or two before we see some light at the end of the tunnel. For many metals, in, uh, including and foremost aluminum, which is very important to our group. Mm. And, and sorry, the majority of your business is, is done where? The majority is energy at the moment, yes. It's energy, okay. Yes. And, and, and which geographical region? It's we make power plants mostly in the Middle East, in North Africa, in Southeast Europe. We have a subsidiary, Metka, which is also listed one of the most successful uh, EPC engineering companies in the world. Interesting. Evangelos, thank you very much for, for coming in to share with us and, and best of luck uh, with the venture. Uh, in the future, Evangelos uh, Mitilineos, the CEO of Mitilineos.